What has been fascinating to see this Arctic outbreak from the warmth of the inland northwest where our high temperature in Spokane was 28 degrees. Here's a look at high temperatures across the nation. Uh, these are highs, uh, keep in mind. I don't know when I have seen numbers like this uh, so widespread. Seven below in Minot, 13 below in Minneapolis, 10 below for a high in Chicago with just brutal wind chill readings throughout the day. Uh, it was only five in Kansas City, 15 in Pittsburgh, 28 in Nashville. Look at Atlanta, 44. It was cold for them. They're bundled up. <laughs> and uh, 32 in Billings, 50s in Portland uh, and Seattle, and 43 in Boise. This looks like we are in the worst of the cold for the upper Midwest. It's going to be shifting to the Northeast. Now, here's a look at some current temperatures and wind chills uh, just to really uh, make you feel cold. And uh, International Falls, which is frequently one of the coldest places in the country, 33 below right now with a wind chill reading of 45 uh, below. One of the fun things about this uh, cold snap is so many people are telling their stories of the coldest they've ever been and the lowest wind chill. And it's uh, amazing to see the math on some of those stories. Uh, it feels like it's 24 below in Duluth. Chicago, it is currently 14 below and feels like it's 37. Oh gosh, and with that wind coming off the lake, you're never as Chicago cold is like a whole different uh, animal. Anyway, it is cold. Uh, how about some Wildlife Wednesday photos to warm your heart from Mark Vogt. Isn't this cute? A doe, whitetail, uh, whispering sweet nothings into this buck who still has uh, his, has yet to shed his antlers but will soon, according to Mark. Steve Jomsa found this northern pygmy owl up near Bonner's Ferry and from Robert Carroll, a beautiful bighorn ram near Paradise Mine. Montana. High pressure in control through tomorrow. Then that will begin breaking down as the day goes on. Our next system comes in on Friday, bringing a mix of rain and snow to the valleys and snow in the mountains. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, some low clouds and fog to start the day. Hopefully, we'll get some sunshine. If so, our temperatures should be up around average. A rain snow mix for Friday, and then the possibility of some snow or rain on Saturday and Sunday. There's our cold snap single-digit lows next week. Uh, and although that is nothing compared to the numbers I just showed you, that is the coldest we will have been so far this season. We've bottomed out at 14 as our low. Keith, I know you were a lot colder than that back in the 80s.